I have not done one of these in a very long time. But I thought I was due for an update with you guys. Given the fact that my truck had, I think like, almost no miles the last time I drove it and filmed and updated you guys. And now we've got almost 9,000 miles on this bad boy. Averaging 20.7? Come on. Yeah. Nice, rainy, muddy day. Perfect kind of day to drive the fifth gen, right? What's going on, guys? It has been, it's been a while since I filmed any type of a YouTube vlog style video. I'm on my way to do a couple of things. Just thought I'd take you along for the drive and update you on a few things that we've got going on here. Uh, current giveaway live right now is a beautiful 1997 crew cab long bed, five speed manual four wheel drive OBS power stroke that comes with five grand. 25X ends this Sunday and then it is dropping to one X entry multiplier. We have lots of bundles and bonus opportunities on the website. So if you wanna do that this week is a phenomenal time to do that. If you wanna lock on entries towards winning that truck. Giveaway ends April 21st. so. Deadline's approaching pretty quick. But on another note, we are on our way to the bank. We're gonna pick up some cash to hopefully be picking up another truck here on Monday. And I think I think you guys are gonna like it. Um, I mean, every truck that we pick up to do a giveaway with, uh, we, we're usually fairly confident you guys are gonna like it. That's usually why we go with what we do. And we are we are very niche. You know, we are very, we are very tight to those older pre-emissions trucks we very rarely step outside of that only because a for a few reasons um, our customer base they prefer that old stuff that nobody else is doing um, because everybody does new trucks and again I always say this people love new trucks I'm not I'm not I'm driving a new truck I mean I, I like new trucks too but in terms of our niche and our passion it is those older trucks and speaking of that now that we do have nicer weather it sounds a little bit weird um, but now that we do have nicer weather, I'm probably going to be parking my fifth gen back in the barn, which you're probably thinking doesn't make a lot of sense. But I'm probably going to be parking my fifth gen back in the barn in the shop space there for the most part, unless I have some longer distance trips that come up. So that way I can spend a little bit more time driving my half ton second gen that I got sitting back there because I've had that thing parked all winter. And I've been trying to avoid it in terms of, I've been trying to avoid driving the truck when it comes to like, you know, real bad weather. Um, I would just hate to see the thing wrecked or rotted out. And I've just got so much money tied up in that thing to keep it clean. And um, it's just one of those things that I'm very particular about how I clean it and maintain it in terms of hand washing and everything like that. And I just only want to drive it during nice weather. So it's that time of year now, finally got some nice weather and I'm gonna try to drive that thing a little bit more and probably not drive this much unless I have a longer trip or I have to go pick up a truck with a trailer and I gotta have some nice, comfortable air ride suspension towing and cruising, in which case, you better believe I'm taking this thing. But of course, I do have a strong love for the older trucks, which is why I'm gonna be parking this thing and pretty much only using it this summer if I have a longer distance trip coming up that requires the truck, whether it's pulling my little tractor, ATVs, stuff like that around. And I'm gonna be going a couple hours away. Um, I'll probably be taking this, but other than that, uh, I'm gonna be pulling out my second gen and driving that thing quite a bit this summer because it needs to get some miles and get some fluids pumping through the lines on that thing because I've only driven it, I think I've started it up and moved it like twice in the last, six months so um, it's due to get some miles put on those tires because it's been sitting a while guys in terms of the fifth gen um i mean it stays clean it stays washed the interior stays nice and clean i'm i've been very particular with maintaining this thing since i've gotten it back in september and i've averaged a little bit over 1100 miles a month in terms of an average mileage but keep in mind for the most part, I really haven't even driven this thing a whole lot. It sounds like I've driven a lot. You're like 1,100 miles a month. That's not a ton of miles, but it's at least average mileage, right? Well, for the most part, all those miles I put on this thing was during hunting season, and I was driving all over the place, state to state, deer hunting. And this is the truck that I took when I was going to hop in and go for, you 
know, two, three, four, five, eight hour drive sometimes to go hunt. Um, I took this thing instead of my half ton because the half ton gets like 10 miles to the gallon on a good day downhill. And this thing gets like 22 cruising 70 miles an hour. And it's super comfortable. And on those long trips and you have questionable weather and questionable conditions, it's just nice to take a newer, more comfortable truck. I'm not gonna lie, it, it is, it does have its perks and benefits and I'm, you know, I, it has grown on me quite a bit. All those long trips are where I got most of these miles. In the last two months, I think I've taken this thing on the road like three times, like into town and back, or to go pick up a, a giveaway truck or something like that with a trailer. But other than that, this thing, for the most part, it is not a daily driving vehicle. We have another vehicle that we use for all of our running around. This thing pretty much gets parked unless it's getting driven. And today I just drove it because I wanted to update you guys on it. And we're gonna get into that in just a minute. and. Let you guys know how it's been going and how it's been treating me. I have absolutely loved it and I've really got nothing to complain about it. I mean, backing up to unhook a trailer, if you have your jack set at the right height, you can just back up, you know, you can lower the bed, it'll drop the rear end and pop the ball right off, so then you can just pull away. Or if you back up to a trailer and you preset it at the right height when the bed's already lowered, you know, you can back up under that ball, raise the truck, and you can raise the truck up, boom, hook up to the ball and pull away. And I mean, you just have to get out and make sure everything else was hooked up. But it, it's it been definitely a spoil, that's for sure. Um, I don't take it for granted because I've always driven, you know, for the most part, my personal vehicles have, my personal trucks, other than a couple times over the last seven-ish years, um, they've all been like second gens, first gens, you know, third gen type stuff, like just more you know, older in a general sense trucks that I usually am putting miles on. So it definitely is nice to drive this thing. Anyways, we're almost here. We're gonna stop by a rental place here and we're gonna see if they can't hook us up with a trailer to go and pick up a truck here in the next couple days. And if they do, uh, well, that'll be fun. And then we're gonna go pick up some cash. That way when we go to look at that truck, hopefully we can acquire it and buy the thing and bring it on back but that'll have to be for the next video so stay tuned well luckily they did have one trailer that was not scheduled for monday and he said that it's been tucked back behind the shop because one of the ramps needed fixed and he's like yeah he's like i've been just procrastinating on getting this ramp fixed for the last however many months he's like but he said i'll make sure they have it fixed here that by the end of the day so monday it's ready for you to go so that should be good. So we're going to be picking up that trailer on Monday morning first thing and going down to hopefully be picking up that truck. You just never know. Sometimes you find these trucks and, you know, guys will hype them up and they're asking crazy money and you're just assuming that means it's got to be like a crazy good truck. And you'd be surprised how many guys ask crazy money and then you get there and it's not even that nice and you're like, you would think for asking almost 30 grand, this thing would have been flawless. And they're like, well, I mean, never gonna find another one this clean. And then I'll go find one just as clean for less money sometime. And I actually almost forgot to mention, we do have a winner for LMP DG 47, the gun metal gray metallic, gun metal, metal, gun metal gray metallic, first gen five speed that comes with five grand. And it's Noah Countryman out of Salem, Indiana, all the way down, I think it's just about on the Kentucky line. He seems pretty pumped to get his truck, so I'm happy for him, and we should be seeing him once we get some, get a little bit of time to line up between my schedule and his. We're not gonna be available to meet up with him right away, because we got some traveling and other things to do, and it's gonna be kinda, well, it's gonna be really hard to make it, almost impossible to make it happen any sooner than um, the dates we provided, but we're gonna be meeting up with him very shortly, I think just a hair over a week from the time you see this video, and then he's gonna be taking his truck home. But we are back to the house, and I guess if I had to put it very simply, would I buy this truck again? Almost 9,000 miles in, have I liked it enough to justify it? The answer would be yes. I think it's awesome, and for what I paid for it, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but um, this truck, the price got dropped almost 30 grand, and I jumped on it and bought it like the next day. But that's why I hadn't bought a new truck for so long. All these last, like, three or four years, the prices of things were just so out of hand. I'm like, like these trucks are costing more money used with 50,000 miles on it. than back when I bought my limited dually back in 2019, brand spanking new off the lot, you know? 
I mean, it's just crazy how the prices have gone with these things over the last few years. And I would not have bought this truck if I hadn't bought it literally with equity in it the day that I bought it. Um, it was just like, it was too good of a deal to pass on a new truck. And I really didn't need a new truck, but I was like, you know, I could buy this thing and sell it for 15 grand more in my hometown where I, you know, where I'm bringing it to. Cause this came from several states away, but it was a brand new truck. It was the last 2022 model they had. Still had no miles on it sitting there on their lot. Well, no miles. I think it had like 10 or 18 miles on it, but not many, right? And uh, they dropped the price like crazy. And I'm pretty sure they, yeah, they had dropped it like crazy and they threw a lifetime warranty on the whole powertrain of the truck. And uh, I, I was like, I can't pass that up. Um, and then I hopped on my local marketplace and saw what they were selling for on the used Ram dealers local. I looked up what these were selling for used two or three years with 50,000, 40, 50,000 miles on it. And it was either the same price or more than I paid for this brand new. And I just was like, done. It's a done deal, dude. <laughs> to this day, I've not seen a price like what I got this far. I've not seen a price like that come up again. Actually, sure had almost everything exactly the way I wanted it to, even down to the center console on the inside being a flip up middle seat. Because we do have a run around family vehicle. And I know that there's guys that they don't necessarily like the middle seats in these things, but it is a Laramie. It's got the cab lights. It's got mostly black but it's got chrome caps on the mirrors chrome around the grill and the wheels but for the most part it's everything that i wanted uh, no steps on it which i can always add but it had a flip up obviously full leather flip up middle seat which is cool right but it's still got the big screen in it which i really wanted because there were features on this that i really wanted and i liked and I'm like, man, the thing is, every time I found one with the middle seat, they didn't have the big screen. Or anytime I found one with the big screen, it had to have a center console. And I, this truck happened to come up. And this could have been one of the reasons why the truck didn't sell for so long sitting on the lot. But it had the middle seat, it had the big screen, it had the cab lights, it had the Ram air suspension in the rear. Okay. And, and I mean, it was, it, it was just everything I wanted, right? And I, I could not, literally could not pass up the deal. And I just was, I was too excited about it. I'm like, it's every spec I want. And the reason I wanted this is because, you know, the wife, me, we have two kids right now. I'm hoping we have more. Anytime we have any visitors, whether it be my mom and dad or my, you know, my wife's parents, or, you know, I have a buddy and his wife up, you know, cause all my friends are married now. It's like, you know, anybody wants to get in a vehicle you know, if we got to get in a truck or we have to take the truck for some reason, we never have enough seats in our other vehicle because it's only five passenger. And so it's either this or my half ton, which the back seat is crammed. It's a little extended cab truck or my wife's third gen. But now we have multiple vehicles that do have that option. Um, and just better yet, this has the option, but it doesn't have anything in the way for your feet down here. You can actually sit there without, you know, cup holders and everything else versus my wife's. I'm glad it has the option for her truck because I'm pretty sure most of them came that way anyway. It wasn't really like a hard option to get. But it's got all the cup holders and four-wheel drive shifter and everything right here. So even though there's a seat, I mean, you really can't put your legs here. You have to, you know, basically side saddle and throw your legs over in the other person's spot. So it's not as ideal. But for what I wanted and what I was looking for, I'm like, if I get a new truck, it has to tick all these boxes. It ticked them all. And the price was just, it, it went from like, ridiculously out of hand to i happen to see this i got a notification that one had popped up and it was like price cut twenty nine thousand dollars and i jumped on it and snagged it as fast as i could and i don't regret it this bed lowering feature i was talking about if you tap this i'll show my mirror i don't know if you could tell but the truck did drop it's pretty cool and then watch this bed lowering complete so it'll actually it legit squats the truck check this out here i'll get back so you can see the full thing so it legit squats the rear end of the truck i would stand right next to it but it our yards got louder it legit squats the truck right 
So if you do have your ball and jack set on your trailer right to where all you have to do is back up to where you want to drop your trailer, you can lower the bed, get down. Or if you've got your trailer you want to hook up to, you got it set to where it'll easily come off when the bed's lowered like this and you can pull away. When you go back to hook up to that trailer again, you can actually back under it with your truck lowered and just raise the truck back up. I mean, look how low this is. I mean, the, the bumper here is at my knees. Okay, the thing is low. I mean, I'm, I'm just like leaning, I can lean over on the truck and it's very comfortable height um, to the top of the tailgate. And then watch this. This is where it's, this is where it's cool, right? Stop that setting. And it did it so fast. I hardly got over here in time, but I don't know if you can tell. Truck's raised way back up. Now the bed's a lot higher, and uh, it's pretty legit. And for the remainder of this video, I'm just going to throw in some bloopers and some things from me filming ads the other day. Um, find some fun in them. Comment down below. Anyways, guys, let me know if you have any questions about the current giveaway truck, any questions about how to enter the giveaway or anything like that. It's pretty simple. Order anything on the website, you automatically enter when. Link to enter is in the description below. Very simple, very straightforward. And if you're new and you've never heard of it, you've never entered one of our giveaways before, we have tons of past winners and we've been doing it for a very, 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 very long time. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy those last clips. Testing, testing, testing. This is the coolest truck you're ever gonna have a chance to win. Testing. Look at all this beautiful, big, fat, sexy Ford Dually sexiness. Could be yours. Guys, right now you have a chance to take on this Ford F-350 plus $5,000 in cash. So tap that link and secure the zones. I'm gonna try to turn this big thing around. <laughs> it ain't easy if you know what I mean. Freaking steamroller, ain't no lie. I'm literally so sick of all this rain, guys. I can't even, I can't tell you enough. Freaking mud mess around here. No exaggeration. A little bit of mud on the tires don't look so bad, right? I mean, it is a 97. Ford F-350, 73 power strokes. I mean, you know, it's crew cab, long bed, dually, four wheel drive truck. It's hard to look bad. A little mud on the tires isn't gonna, isn't gonna hurt it, but it certainly might make it a little, I don't know, make it, make it seem like it's kind of used like a truck just a little bit. Even though, in all honesty, this is about as most off-road use as this is ever gonna get in my possession. That's the shot right there, no lie. I'm filming solo. Literally, I'm filming solo. I'll show you my filming setup. It's actually a muddy camera arm. I'm trying to trying to film myself with that. Um, because uh, I don't have a camera crew with me to get this shot for you, but I do want to let you know, when I say you want this thing, I mean you really want this thing. There might be people thinking this is a joke, this is a scam, this isn't real, guys. I'm an everyday person who started a business almost seven years ago now to give away trucks like this to people like you, and it's real. Just look at this. You could be in this truck tearing up your yard just like I am right now. I didn't even really do anything. I just pulled it out of the barn, just shredded the whole freaking yard. ZF5 manual transmission, full leather interior that's in cherry condition. Everything in the interior is flawless. Beautiful. 